Hello and welcome to the subject of the month for May. This is take 432 and this month we're going to take a look at the new milk production graphs. Okay, what's the purpose of these new graphs? Okay, first of all, what I'd like to do is to show you how we did the analysis in the past. We go to milk management, production analysis, and SPP summary. And this was an average seven day yield? If you have milk meters, that's correct, or it could be based on official recording. Okay. So, it's a snapshot at a point in time. And what this tells me is the average production between 0 to 60 days is 37 litres and the SPP is 46. So the cows are starting fairly slowly, but in fact they get better and better and better. Now if I wanted to go back in time, what I'd have to do is run the report again, select the date range. So we're going to have a look now in February. Doing it this way, you can see that we can just toggle between March and February's figures. Now, the new milk production graph is a big, big step forward because we can look at everything on the one screen. Oh, that's a really good benefit to us. Okay, let's close it then and show you what we can do. So here it is, milk production graph. Okay, we're going to look at it based on official recordings. And first of all, what I'm going to do I'm going to look at SPP, standard peak production, a recalculated milk yield based on stage of lactation and numbers of lactations. So what we can see here, these are the fresh cows. The red line are the cows between 0 to 60 days. The stale cows here. I can turn this on or off to bring in these cows, but initially let's look at the early lactation and the late lactation. And this is based over the year 2015. So we can see that they were pretty close, which is what we want. But then what's really happened is production's actually gone up, which is good. But the cows that have done the best are the cows towards the back end of the lactation. If we look at 2014, we can see that the change started really in July. Before that, it had been pretty close. We we'll go up to 2016, and we can see that that trend is continuing. You can always go back and look at it based on milk yield, if that's what you want to look at. Can I break it down by specific calving months? Yeah, you've got the option of lactations here or calving months. So let's have a look first of all at the first carvers. So what we have here, the blue line, that's the lactation curve. And here we have the SPP. So again, we see this trend with the starting, it's a fairly flat lactation curve. And that's the reason that the SPP is going higher and higher. Then to answer your question, do we want to look at the production for a carbon month? Absolutely. Here's all the months, the number of animals that contributed, average milk yield, SPP, fat, and protein. This really is an important new analysis tool. It pulls together daily and weekly data. It turns into, into a one-screen report, and it can show how the herds performed, and importantly, what trends might occur and what they're likely to achieve. So I now can monitor the effect of any changes I've made to feeding or any management. Absolutely, and I really like the fact that you can look at everything over a time period on the one screen. So if you have any questions, we'd be very happy to log on to your system and take you through this important new report. So please call the help desk and we look forward to helping you.